As far removed as it seems from the days of Chairman Mao and the brutal, tragically misnamed Great Leap Forward of the 1950s and 60s that left 45 million people dead in just four years, in recent times, it has committed countless crimes against Falun Gong practitioners, underground Christians, Tibetans, Uyghurs, dissidents. China is ruled by the same Communist Party, and although its people are much freer than they used to be in a lot of ways, one thing remains hopelessly unchanged. The Chinese government hates free speech. By now, I'm sure you've heard about the ongoing protests happening in Hong Kong. I'm sure you're also aware that several American businesses have effectively taken sides in that conflict. As China's Communist Party cracks down on the protesters and tries to prevent them from communicating their message online, there's a ton of pressure on foreign companies to do what the Chinese government wants. Unfortunately, China's rising prosperity and freer economy has not coincided with more political or individual freedoms in other areas of life. Even though it's now possible for private citizens to own businesses, and we should not forget how big of a deal that is, everything they do is still subject to approval and control by the government. We all have the right to say whatever is on our mind and to decide for ourselves who to listen to and what beliefs to accept or reject. But there is nothing an authoritarian government hates more because they're afraid. The idea that individuals might have their own thoughts and ideas or that someone might criticize the government officials that dictate and control their lives is terrifying. The only way the Communist Party can maintain its power over billions of Chinese citizens is to make sure they're never exposed to ideas and values that may set them free. But I think to some degree, the cat's already out of the bag. By reintegrating Hong Kong back into the People's Republic of China, the Communist Party perhaps unwittingly brought in millions of people who know what it's like to be allowed to speak their minds without fear of arrest or punishment. They brought in millions of people who know what it's like to be allowed to make their own choices on what movies and TV shows to watch, what books to read, what games to play, and who know that all of China's restrictions make them poor and more miserable. The CCP chooses to go down the evil road of totalitarianism and increased persecution, refusing to step off the world stage. Like a repeat offender, the CCP is anxious to escape and will not hesitate to commit more horrific crimes to protect itself. But it's up to us. We have the power to support freedom of expression and refuse to live by rules set by an oppressive regime. We have the power to connect with people from all over the world and help them stand up for these values in their own countries.